Okay. Look okay. This is the last scene or set that we're doing today. So we're actually gonna be spraying this water here and it's gonna be like washing the makeup off of them. I think we have to go back to 2008 when I went to Peru. Uh, photography wa was a way that I saw to document where I had been and things that I had seen. And I didn't even know what a DSLR camera was and the purpose for changing the lenses and everything. Perfect. Uh, a Canon Rebel XTI uh, was my first camera. You're killing it. I remember hiking through places like Cusco and the Andes Mountains and just being able to take pictures of people in their own uh, environment and, and setting and getting their expressions that you know really made a statement and, and, and being able to transcend that moment so that the image was impactful. Uh, I knew that at that moment that I wanted to be able to develop that ability further. I think I've been very lucky to have surrounded myself with some of the best in the industry. You know, I, I haven't forgotten that and that's why um, I'm willing to share anything that I've learned. So my fashion team, Micah Ruelas, that's Liz Lane and Isidro Valencia. And I really like working with those people because they each um, add to the creative process. They bring um, their own vision. And it's really a, a synergistic effect that, you know, working with me, we can kind of blend our talents to uh, create something that's better than what I started out with. Something about everything coming together, seeing the clothes and seeing hair and makeup and, and the models, it just gives you this type of um, euphoric feeling, a drive inside that, that makes you want to be expressive. Laying like that, maybe putting your hand there like that, easier for you. My name is Matop Eva Furuzande. I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. So I was on my best friend's Facebook and I see all these beautiful pictures of her and all these like, beautiful elegant poses and underneath the name Josh Eskridge is written. If I'm not failing at some aspect in, in a photo shoot I always think that I'm not challenging myself enough so I have no fear uh, of failure because it's a natural course of, uh, of evolution in my progression as a photographer. <sighs> the frustrations of a photo shoot. I have one other trigger somewhere. This isn't usually how it happens. One little piece of equipment, about two inches tall, is keeping me from doing a photo shoot. You only see the glamorous stuff now. Now you're seeing the real deal. Well, my cyber sinks, the little radio triggers that trigger your flash, decided to go on the fritz and not work, so I had to get an emergency replacement. Pocket wizard's in hand. Let's get back to business. So the shoot with Ava, the first couple of sets were really high fashion, glamour, makeup. They had a, a lot of props and it was gonna be very, very posed. Josh is such an enthusiastic person that he keeps you doing your best from the very first minute of the shoot to the very last minute of the shoot. So I feel like the entire shoot I was working the hardest yeah. I could because Josh is not only the photographer, but he acts like your number one fan. And then you were kind of like looking to me on the side like that. Your expression is killing it. Love it. Love it. Like that. Relax your eyes a little bit and you're going to have this. What I really wanted to do was uh, use the doors that, that I have in my loft. Put a lighting setup in place where I could get some really cool high fashion shots. I set up a, uh, a strip box with an Alien Bee behind the windows. And then on the front side from where I was shooting, I was using an Alien Bee with a beauty dish. Um, so I could get like that really um, yes, spectral yes. type lighting that's really good yeah. for no high way. fashion shots. Dial to me is um, something that's individualized. Um, it's a concept that you can build upon. It's kind of a way to express yourself without always having to explain it with words. It's constantly changing and it's not the same as it's been in, in past years. We always see style kind of um, reincarnated in another form. A concept will come back, but it will be done in a different way. So the evolution of style shoot, I want to show uh, an evolution in stages through a photo shoot where everyone can express their own view on on the concept and, and the development of style fashion and beauty fashion is real people live in it you know when I was looking around and ran across this place uh, Biff's motel um, I chose it because it 
was not a glamorous place. It, it, was, uh, it was an everyday setting. So uh, it was a personal challenge to me so that we could walk into there and, and say, with using what's around us, we extracted art out of this place. And I really want to get that edgier feel. So you're going to see several different sets today where we're starting out still kind of glamorous, but then each set after that is going to be an evolution into something else until the final scene where we're washing away uh, everything. First shot is going to be by the Biff's Motel sign. That was the entryway into our photo shoot. So you'll see a lot of glamorous uh, outfits and more of a, of a proper style. Um, you know, that's kind of juxtaposed with the, uh, with the rusty uh, motel sign that has half the letters lit up. There's a lot of contradiction going on there, but it's, it's very powerful for me. My name is Kelly Campbell, and I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Wow, it was a trip, but going all the way out there to this, you know, broken down motel. But it kind of gave the energy for the whole shoot. Uh, I think my initial approach was to try to mold the model like, like she were a ball of clay or something, and not even taking into account emotions and expressions like that. Where I am now and my approach is more starting out with emotion. What is the what is the feeling that I want to convey in the photo and really working with the model in a natural way to get them to come across with that emotion. Second set was the uh, rebellious stage. We actually used the, the playground set uh, at the motel um, but using it in, in a different way. That looks good, Whitney. Good, good, good. Um, I wanted a Boom. way to where we take this concept and bring it to life, but not limit ourselves to where everyone can express their own view on, on the concept and, and the development of style, fashion, and beauty. So the third set is what I call the temptation shoot, and what I really wanted to get here was the interaction between the, the male and the female models. Me pushing the envelope a little bit, so it's going to be uh, a little bit edgy, a little bit uh, provocative, but still keeping it classy and tasteful at the same time. All right, so what we are doing here is basically these images are from past glamour shoots that I've done with the models. And what we're gonna do is project this image on the wall and then they are gonna have a look and style that is in contrast to this. So this is ultra glamorous. We're gonna do a more broken down look and somehow there's gonna be some interaction between their past and their present, and that's really gonna to add to the image that we're trying to get. The whole concept of the glamorous and then to the distressed, it, it does something you for you when you get to good. see that, when you get to be you know, the same person and you're looking at that picture and yet you're so different. Uh, it was a counterbalance to that more uh, glamorous past that they had. So to me, I wanted to take those two and make them collide in the photo. So it really brought out a powerful image and uh, hopefully it's a, it has an impact on the viewer. Yeah, you put your head in a light part of the photo, just down a little bit more there. That's perfect. I was not aware that I was going to be getting in the shower. That was something that challenged me as a model. I'm glad that I got a chance to experience something like that because it kind of put me out of my element. So the last scene was the shower scene, what I call the disintegration set. Uh, what I really wanted to show here was, uh, was the culmination uh, of the, the evolution of style here to get to the point to where the models were using the, the shower and the water to really just wash it all away. And it's really meant to symbolize getting back to that core essence uh, of who they are. When you look at a photo, it's not all of these things magically falling into place. It's, there's a lot of work that goes into it beforehand, you know, a lot of planning. You have to bring together this creative talent together to create something that is going to be impactful. And that's, that's what I want to show. Um, so the shoots that, that I chose to do for this documentary were, uh, were completely different, really. I think a lot of people have different measures of success of what a good shot is. Um, 
for me, it's not about how many comments it's going to get. It's not about whether it's going to be published. A strong photo is one that has an impact on the viewer. Uh, at the end of the day, my measure of success is do you feel differently after looking at it?